Hi, I'm Michelle Gordon. I'm the author of the Earth Angel series, and today I'm doing an Earth Angel Oracle reading for all twin flames who are currently stuck in the runner stage of their relationship, and they'd like to move into the harmonizing and radiant stage of their relationship. So I'm going to ask Velvet, Aria, and Amethyst their advice on how all twin flames can make this transition smoothly. So first we're going to ask Velvet uh, what advice she has for us. So we're going to pick two cards from Velvet's deck. So I'm just going to give them a quick shuffle. And then we're going to lay them out. So I'm going to choose this one and this one. So the first card from Velvet is Awakening. So this card is saying that about the spiritual awakening that's occurring on Earth at the moment and that, that you are very much a part of it. But awakening as well when it comes to the twin flames is saying that at times there are flames who are more awake than the, than the other. So you have one flame who's absolutely certain that they're meant to be together, very awake, very aware, and then you have the other flame who has doubts, who has reason to believe that, you know, well, maybe that, that's not right or whatever. So this is saying about remaining awake and the only thing that you can do is, is to stay in that awareness and stay awake and give your flame the space to come to that same point of awareness. And also it's saying about being open to synchronicities. So look out for the synchronicities, look out for any signs or things that would actually help the two of you to get to the same level of awareness um, and awakening. So there's that from Velvet. And then the second card is Visions. So this is saying about visualising your future. Um, it's saying that there isn't anything to fear, there's no darkness to endure, there's nothing to lose. So instead of getting lost in the fear of losing your flame, if you're in the runner dynamic and you've broken up several times and gotten back together several times, it's trusting that, you know, you will come back together and it'll be at the right time for the both of you. You know, if you're not with your flame right now, just trust and accept that actually you will come back together again. And I know that I said that this would be about, you know, how can you more quickly get into radiance and harmonizing? And I think this is saying, you know, visualize it see it, believe in the vision that you can see of your future together and it will happen more quickly. So now we're going to ask Amethyst what her advice is. So I'm going to give the cards a quick shuffle. Well, we're going to choose that one because that one wants to come out. <laughs> if you are using Oracle cards yourself and when you're shuffling them, a card just flies out of the deck, it usually means you need to read that card. So we're going to go with that. So we just need one more card from Amethyst. So we're going to spread them out. And we just need one more, so... I'm going to go with that one. So the card that jumped out of the deck was Spirituality. And this card is saying, so Amethyst is saying, to be spiritual is to have love and a respect for all other beings to live in harmony with them and to help them and receive their help, love and respect in return. So for this, what's coming out of me is that in a twin flame relationship for it to really work, you need to have that mutual love and respect between the two of you. And quite often, if one twin is more aware than the other, then they tend to just give, 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 and they, they forgive anything that happens in a relationship because they know that they're meant to be together. But you do need to be receiving the love and respect of your flame in return for it to be balanced, for it to actually work. So if you're in a twin flame relationship that you're struggling to make work because the other person is not on the same level as you, as you and you're not getting the same love and respect in return, then perhaps it's time to actually, you know, let them, you know, let them go for a while, l release them so that they can go and, and find whatever they need to find to be able to get to that point. Um, because you deserve to have their love and respect in return. You don't deserve to be in a relationship that you're not getting that um, exchange. And this is saying about living in harmony with them and having love and respect for them. So also, it's also respecting the fact that they are at that level of awareness and awakening that they're at. And that's perfect for them. That's where they're supposed to be. We can't change people to make them, you know, wake up faster because it doesn't really work. So, yeah, it's about staying true to yourself and, and being in that place of love and respect and also trusting, knowing that, you know, you will both get to the same level at the same time at some point. So the second card 
from Amethyst is tolerance, which you need a lot of <laughs> in, um, in the twin flame relationship when things aren't going so well. So it's saying that perhaps there are things that you're not tolerating that you could because angels tolerate everything. But as I've just said in the spirituality card, perhaps you're actually tolerating too much of that behavior that you shouldn't be. You know, earth angels are very tolerant and forgiving and loving and we kind of just, we see the best in people and we want to accept just the best part. But you do actually need to, you know, like I said, have that equal exchange. So don't tolerate behavior from them that isn't in keeping with what you deserve and what you should be receiving. So finally, we're going to ask Aria what she would say to twin flames who are struggling and are trying to reach the stage of harmonizing. So we ask Aria... What can they do to get to those stages more quickly? So, shuffle them and move them out. We're going to pick two cards. So, that one. And maybe I'll have that one. So, the first card is work. So she's saying that she'd rather be playing games than working, which is why it's important to do work that you love, that helps others and makes you happy. If your work doesn't make you happy, maybe you should find something else to do. If we're applying this to the Twin Flame situation, then the relationships do actually take some work. You know, some people think, oh, it's my Twin Flame, it should just be amazing, and that's it. <laughs> you just find them, get together, have an amazing relationship, and there's no work involved, there's no actual... Yeah, there's no working on yourself as well, because with Twin Flames, we, we tend to have a lot of baggage, you know, from previous lifetimes together, from previous lives not together. So it's about working on yourself, it's about working on the relationship, and it's about, um, yeah, not giving up too easily just because things don't click immediately and it's all, you know, happily ever after. So as much as Arya prefers to be playing, she is saying, you know, sometimes you need to work on it. And the second card is environment. So she's saying about not getting the grass because she's a grass growing fairy. And um, yeah, if we're, if we're looking at the environment um, around the twin flame relationship, then I would say look at your environment. You know, are you trying to make your relationship work in an environment that isn't actually conducive to the relationship working? Are there people around you who don't want your relationship to succeed? Are there even physical things around you from previous relationships or, um, you know, previous things that have been going on that actually you need to release, you need to let go of, you need to clear your environment of anything that is not conducive to a harmonious relationship between the two of you. Even the decor in, in the house that you're in or whatever, certain colours are good for relationships, certain colours aren't. So I was asking you to look around and see if there's anything that you can let go of, that you can change, so that you can shift into the harmonious stage of your relationship. So we have the advice from the three different earth angels and they're saying that you need to be on the same level of awareness awakening and sometimes your twin might actually need a bit more time to get to the same level as you. Visualize what you want the relationship to look like. You know, how do you want it to feel? What do you want the future to be like? And stick with that vision. Don't have the sort of like, oh, well, maybe it won't happen. You know, just trust in that vision. Trust in what you can see. Remain in that place of mutual love and respect. And if you're not getting that love and respect in return, then perhaps you need to give them a little bit of space so that they can get to the same place as you. Tolerance. Don't tolerate bad behavior just because they're too inflamed. That doesn't give them any excuse. So you need to set the boundaries of what you actually will tolerate and won't tolerate. Work on the relationship. It's not just because it's a twin flame relationship and it's meant to be this amazing connection doesn't mean that it doesn't take work to make it happen. And environment. Look around you. Is there anything that you can change in your environment right now that would actually help the relationship to move into that harmonious stage? So I hope that was useful to all the twin flames out there who are in various stages of uh, the twin flame relationships. And if you'd like to ask a question of Amethyst Ario Velvet yourself, then please just email me the question and I'll do your reading and let you know uh, what the Earth Angels have to say about it. So thank you for watching. I'll see you again.